The 170 second scale SPAD 7 from Airfix coming up next on Monster Hobbies What's in the Box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Uh, here's another great airplane from World War I. This is the SPAD 7 by Airfix. And this plane was also instrumental in the stopping of the German air superiority of World War I, taking down the Fokker Eindecker E3s. So, without further ado, uh, let's go down and open up the box on this 1916 SPAD 7. And once again, we take to the skies on our hobby bench where we're going to look at the Airfix 172nd scale SPAD 7. So, once again, this is one out of my own collection, but it should still be available somewhere. And, of course, we can always bring these in if people are interested. So, I'm going to change up things a little and start with our instruction sheet. Now, this one, again, is Captain G. Gunnemir. And he was a famous ace known as the old one, View Charles. So... This is saying 1917, but the SPAD actually came out toward the end of 1916. <clears throat> and we have the history here in English, French, German, Dutch, Swedish, and many other languages. It's hard to know what some of these flags are in black and white. <clears throat> but the instructions are fairly straightforward, showing the this time you get the pilot and the aircraft and the fuselage going together with the little grill under here for the engine. These have the H-frame struts in them and uh, more. This plane was a little heavier than some of the other planes back in the day, but it did have the strength and stability that some planes were missing. So, let's take a look at the next thing, which will be these nice decals. So here you get the forward number two and the reverse number two, which go on the top wings. And as you can see, the coloring is quite nice. France had the red on the outside, white in the middle, and the blue dot in the center for theirs, whereas Britain is red in the center, white in the middle, and blue on the outer edge. You only get one one way to build this, which is as the old uh, guy <laughs> version. <laughs> I'm a little despondent here on my speech pattern. There is a clear part here, which would be the front windshield of the airplane. And here is the bottom and top wings, and as you can see, you get that nice rib pattern on there. And underneath here are a couple of those little spots that you'll have to remove with your hobby knife. They're quite prevalent here, which is quite unfortunate. But then, 172nd scale, they are going to look quite big. Here's one of the sprues here. And we have our fuselage, and you can see the ribbing again in the body. And the little rivets here, louvers. Louvers for keeping it cool. Your engine, more louvers underneath on that panel. There is quite a bit of flash which you'll have to take off. Um, but that seems to be part and parcel with 172nd scale airplanes that I've built in the past. And again, quite a nice bunch of detail. Now here's the front or the rest of the airplane, and there you get a nice pilot. Let's see there. I guess that's the best I can get in my camera. And of course the tail rudders, that's the front cowl for your engine. And these nice ex race car style exhaust pipes hanging out here. And the body underpinnings. And that short little video brings us to the end of our review of the Airfix SPAD 7 in 172nd scale.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the 172nd scale Airfix Spad 7. And if you would like to help support our work, please go to our YouTube homepage and look for that little Facebook button, <laughs> sorry, PayPal button, and click there, and uh, it will do the rest. And if you would like to check out our available airplane model kits, please check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I'll leave the link down below so you can click there and see our airplane selection. Uh, and if you'd like to see some of our other airplane What's in the Box videos, please check them out here, here, and here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right here and click the notification button so that you will be notified when a new video comes up. And until next time, always keep her in the air.